the reason you are waking up at 3 a.m. is not because you have a small bladder or old age. It's the same reason you sometimes wake up with your heart racing for no reason, or with a dull headache behind your eyes before the day has even started. You are waking up because your body is trying to save your life from a silent toxicity. Today, we are going to walk through the 12 specific nighttime signs that your blood sugar is destroying your body from the inside out. Sign one, nocturia. Let's start with the most common and most ignored symptom, nocturia. This is where you have to wake up to urinate multiple times a night. Standard medicine tells you this is a prostate issue or just aging. That is lazy diagnostics. Here is the actual mechanism. Your kidneys are filters. They have a very specific safety valve called the renal threshold. For most humans, this number is 180 milligrams per deciliter. As long as your blood sugar stays below 180, your kidneys can filter the blood and put the sugar back into the bloodstream where it belongs. But when you have insulin resistance or diabetes, your sugar spikes way past 180. It hits 200, 250, sometimes 300. At this point, the kidneys panic. They view this glucose not as fuel, but as a toxin that is destroying the delicate nephrons, filtering units. So they dump the sugar into the urine to save the kidney. But here's the catch. Glucose is an osmotic magnet. It acts like a sponge. Wherever sugar goes, water must follow. It physics, you cannot stop it. So as your body dumps sugar, it violently pulls water out of your bloodstream, out of your tissues, and fills your bladder at a rate that is biologically unnatural. This is not a bladder problem. It is a toxicity problem. Sign two, polydipsia, excessive unquenchable thirst at night. You wake up and your mouth feels like the Sahara Desert. You drink a glass of water, you feel bloated, but you are still thirsty. Why? Because you are experiencing intracellular dehydration. When you have high blood sugar, the fluid outside your cells becomes thick and concentrated. Nature seeks balance. So water rushes out of your cells to try and dilute the sugar in your blood. Your cells essentially raisin up, they shrink. So you have plenty of water in your body, but it's in the wrong place. It's in your blood, creating high blood pressure, and your bladder, creating nocturia, but your cells are dry. Furthermore, high insulin signals your kidneys to retain sodium. So now you have a body that is flushing potassium and magnesium, but hoarding salt. This salt accumulation triggers the thirst centers in the brain, the hypothalamus, to scream for water. It is a vicious, endless loop. Drink water, pee out electrolytes, retain salt, get thirsty, repeat. You cannot drink your way out of this. You have to fix the insulin. The hangover headache sign number three is waking up with a headache, usually a dull throb in the frontal lobe or behind the eyes. You haven't been drinking alcohol, so why the hangover? Because chemically, high blood sugar creates a state very similar to alcohol intoxication in the brain. It causes massive dehydration of the brain tissue itself. When your brain loses hydration, it physically shrinks slightly in volume. This creates traction, a pulling sensation, on the meninges, the sensitive membrane that covers your brain. That pulling is the headache. It is a structural warning that your brain is drying out. 4. Restless leg syndrome, the lactic acid vat. Now we move to the nerves. This is where it gets scary. The villain here is a deficiency in vitamin B1, thiamine. You need to understand the relationship between sugar and B1. It is a transactional relationship. For every molecule of glucose you burn, you require B1 to turn it into energy. If you eat a high carbohydrate diet, bread, pasta, sugar, alcohol, you are bankrupting your B1 reserves. Without B1, the Krebs cycle your energy engine breaks. Your body cannot finish burning the fuel. Instead of creating clean energy, it creates a toxic byproduct called lactic acid. If you have restless leg syndrome, 
Your legs are essentially fermenting in lactic acid while you sleep. They are suffocating for oxygen. Your brain signals you to move because moving increases blood flow and helps flush the acid. You aren't restless, you are toxic. Five, peripheral neuropathy, the burning feet. This is the progression of untreated B1 deficiency. It starts as restlessness, but it turns into pain. You lie down at night and the bottoms of your feet burn, or they tingle, or they feel numb, like you are wearing thick socks when you are barefoot. Why does it happen at night? During the day, gravity and movement force blood into your feet. When you lie horizontal, that gravity assist is gone. But the root cause is vasa nervorum. These are the tiny microscopic blood vessels that supply your nerves with nutrients. High blood sugar acts like rust. It corrodes these tiny vessels. When the vessel dies, the nerve starves. A starving nerve misfires. It sends random pain signals to the brain, even though there is no injury. Standard advice says, take gabapentin and live with it. That is a lie. This is often reversible, but you have to use the right form of B1. Nocturnal leg cramps, the magnesium lock. Sign number six is the Charlie horse. You wake up screaming because your calf muscle has turned into a rock. This is an electrolyte gating issue. Muscle contraction is controlled by calcium. Muscle relaxation is controlled by magnesium. They are partners. Calcium enters the cell to turn the muscle on. Magnesium enters to kick the calcium out and turn the muscle off. Remember phase one? You are urinating frequently. You lose magnesium much faster than you lose calcium. So, you end up with a high calcium, low magnesium state. The calcium floods the muscle tissue and locks the door. Without magnesium to open the door, the muscle stays contracted. A study published in Family Practice showed that magnesium supplementation could significantly reduce the frequency of nocturnal leg cramps. Yet most doctors just tell you to eat a banana. Bananas are mostly sugar and have very little magnesium. Do not eat a banana before bed. You will just spike your insulin and make the problem worse. 7. Night Sweats Sympathetic dominance. You wake up drenched. The sheets are wet. If you are a woman of a certain age, you blame menopause. If you are a man, you blame the blanket. But often, this is nocturnal hypoglycemia. Wait, aren't we talking about high sugar? Yes. But when you are diabetic or insulin resistant, your blood sugar is unstable. You eat a high carb dinner, insulin spikes, blood sugar crashes hard at 2 a.m. Your brain senses this crash as a death threat. It thinks you are starving, so it panics. It releases a massive surge of adrenaline and glucagon to tell the liver to dump stored sugar into the blood to save you. This adrenaline surge puts your body into fight or flight mode while you are unconscious. You sweat, your heart races, and you wake up feeling anxious. You just ran a sprint in your sleep. Eight. Non-dipping blood pressure. This is a sign you cannot feel, but it is one of the most dangerous. Normally, when you sleep, your blood pressure should drop by about 10% to 20%. This is called nocturnal dipping. It allows your heart and kidneys to rest. In diabetics, we see non-dipping. The blood pressure stays high all night. Why? Because the sympathetic nervous system, stress system, is stuck in the on position due to the insulin resistance and the metabolic chaos we just described. If your blood pressure doesn't dip, your kidneys never get a break. This is the number one predictor of end-stage renal failure. If you have high blood pressure and diabetes, you must prioritize fixing your sleep. 9. Heart palpitations. Tied to the adrenaline dump is the sensation of your heart pounding. This is partly the adrenaline, but it is also a potassium deficiency. Potassium is the calming mineral for the heart. It regulates the electrical rhythm. High insulin depletes potassium. When your potassium drops, the heart becomes electrically unstable. It twitches. It skips beats. This is often atrial fibrillation, AFib, in its early stages. 10. 
vivid nightmares. I had a dream I was being chased. I had a dream I was falling. Technicolor terrifying dreams are a classic sign of a cholinergic mismatch in the brain caused by B1 deficiency. Your brain uses an immense amount of energy during REM sleep to process memories. If the metabolic machinery is broken due to lack of B1, the neurotransmitters misfire. The brain translates this metabolic stress into psychological stress, creating nightmare scenarios. I have seen this in children who eat cereal before bed. They get night terrors. We cut the carbs, add B1, and the terrors stop. Sign 11. Sleep apnea. You stop breathing. You snore. You gasp for air. The mainstream narrative is, you are fat, so you have apnea. The reality is, you have high insulin, so you have apnea. Insulin is an anabolic hormone. It makes things grow. It makes your belly fat, but it also makes the soft tissues in your throat, your tonsils, your adenoids, and specifically your tongue grow. There is actual data showing that people with sleep apnea have larger tongues with more fat deposits. When you lie back, this enlarged, inflamed tongue collapses into your airway. A study in the European Respiratory Journal found that insulin resistance is an independent predictor of sleep apnea, regardless of body weight. This means you can be skinny, have high insulin, and still stop breathing at night because the structures of your throat are inflamed. 12. GERD and teeth grinding. Finally, you wake up with acid in your throat or a sore jaw from grinding your teeth. This is autonomic neuropathy. The high blood sugar has damaged the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve controls the lower esophageal sphincter, the valve that keeps acid in your stomach, and digestion speed. When this nerve is damaged, you get gastroparesis, delayed stomach emptying. You eat dinner at 6 p.m. By 10 p.m., the food should be gone. But because of the nerve damage, the food sits there, fermenting, rotting. You lie down, the pressure builds, the valve fails because the nerve is dead and acid spills up. The teeth grinding, bruxism, is simply the body's physical manifestation of the sympathetic stress state we discussed earlier. You are literally clenching against the internal stress. That concludes the full list. Now comment below how many signs you think you have and if this video helped. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.